life, death, and the in-between. Darkness, light, good, and evil. The separation between who you are and who you want to be. Does going too far down one path truly mean that you cannot return? How are you supposed to know what to believe when you are a hero to some and to others? A monster. Hello, adventurers. My name is Big Boy Nappin, and I love the Elder Scrolls mythos. Join me in this video, and we'll take a deeper dive into the wonderful and wacky lore that lies just beyond Plain Eyes View. It's going to be a little difficult for me to go over all of this without going on tangents and getting lost in the seemingly endless rabbit hole that is Elder Scrolls lore, but I'm going to do my best. If you have questions or would like a dedicated video on certain lore topics, just leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to take your request. I could really drag this video on and on talking about the lore surrounding Cadwell that isn't actually relevant to him specifically. And we'd end up with a video that'd probably be over an hour. But you don't want that. And to be honest, I can't be bothered. Maybe in the future, I'll make a lore video that's a lot longer than this one, but I don't really think that that's warranted here. We're not going to be doing a walkthrough of quests involving Cadwell. Uh, this isn't really about the main story of Elder Scrolls Online or the Elsewhere expansion that Cadwell is tied to. This is more of a character analysis. Every time I got to talk to Cadwell in SO, I found myself wanting to know more about his story, and I haven't seen many videos about him on YouTube, so I thought that maybe I could shed a bit of light on him. I had questions about Cadwell that I felt were unanswered, so this is my way of trying to answer those questions, and maybe you had similar questions. At the end of this video, I want you to tell me your thoughts on Cadwell. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you all for checking out this video. Uh, if you like it, don't be shy, leave a like, it, it really helps out. In order to truly cover the story that is Cadwell of Codswallop, we need to go back, way back, all the way back to the Marithic era, the beginning of which was marked by the founding of the Camoran dynasty. Now we don't need to go into too much detail about the Marithic era, and even if we wanted to, that would be a tall order. The Marithic era is called so because it's the era of myths, hence Marithic. Uh, there are very few specific dates that can be talked about with clarity and certainty. What we do know is that it's during the Marithic era that we'll find an ancient people known as the Needs. That's N-E-D-E-S, the Needs. There isn't a whole lot of information about the Needs. But what I was able to find is that they were a type of human that inhabited a large portion of Tamriel, before being wiped out by a group of Red Guards known as the Ra Gada. Before their demise, the Needs worshipped the constellations and the Celestials, which are basically fallen constellations. And there's a lot more to them, but that will have to wait for another video. Cadwell was himself a Need. In his life before being trapped in Cold Harbor after his death, he became known as the Hero of Syrah, which is like an old-fashioned term for Cyrodiil. I tried to find more detail about how he got such a grand title, but I wasn't able to find much, and we'll talk about why a little bit later. But that's not even his only grandiose title. Cadwell is also referred to as the Villain of Elsewhere, and the champion of the Third Nedic Massacre, and the Betrayer. Sadly, all but one of these titles have next to no explanation behind them. However, I think that we can make some educated assumptions, or theories, if you'll humor me. During the events of the Plain Meld, we get to experience firsthand Cadwell's fearlessness and willingness to fight against evil even when the odds are completely stacked against him. You might say that his bravery comes from his madness, but we know that long before he ever stepped foot in Cold Harbor, he was just as brave. Cadwell helped Hunzar Reed defeat Calagrundid, along with who knows how many dragons. There is an argument to be made that Calagrundid is comparable to Alduin, 
but I'll have to stop myself there before I get off topic. For Gadwell to have the means to go up against the dragons of old without the aid of the Dovahkiin or even the Thum at all would surely suggest that he himself had a great deal of power. It is my opinion that in Cadwell's early living life, he likely had great many adventures and became a hero of more than a few legends. Knowing Cadwell, these legends could have been exaggerated and the details muddied for the sake of glory. We know that Cadwell craved power and by extension also glory. It was this tainted ambition that caused Cadwell's judgment to lapse from time to time and would eventually lead him down a path straight to Cold Harbor. We do not truly know why Cadwell took up his sword against the dragons in defense of elsewhere, and it is likely there isn't one single reason for it, but many. In the end, Cadwell gave in to his desire for power, and for the few who remembered him after his death, they would know him as Cadwell the Betrayer and the Villain of Elsewhere. Such is the fate of those who stab their friends in the back in the pursuit of power. Cadwell sought to steal Calagrundid's power for himself after helping Hunzari trap the Mighty Beast. What he intended to do with the power is unknown. Although, whatever evil was seeded within Cadwell would have surely blossomed from the twisted power held within a dragon, much less a dragon like Calagrundin. After killing his once friend and failing to seize the power he had become seduced by, he was decapitated, and the rest of his body was split into pieces and buried throughout elsewhere. It was at this moment that Cadwell's very essence was split in two, and his deeds erased from history. The power-hungry, selfish, glory-seeking warrior was left on Nern to steep in his spiteful hate and await resurrection through the means of necromancy. The brave, altruistic, and heroic aspect of Cadwell's being was sent to Cold Harbor as penance for his failures and his shortcomings as a hero. But even in the darkest, most helpless void, a light can still be found. For Cadwell, this light was Meridia. Cadwell had lost everything. His glorious deeds had been wiped from history. His stories would never be told again. His power stripped away and his mind was broken. His darkest hour lasted for what felt like a lifetime. He dwelled within Cold Harbor for so long that he became a part of the prison that he called home. Where most people's story would end, Cadwell's had just begun. Along came a vestige destined for a path that even the divines would not willingly go down. And with this vestige, there came light to show Cadwell the way to redemption. The pursuit of power and glory is a treacherous path few have traveled with clean hands. Did the hero of Kavach live his life without blemish? Was the Dovahkiin blameless in their path to preventing Alduin from doing as the Divines commanded him to do? Do you believe the Nerevarin was pure of heart? My question to you, viewer, are you any less of a hero because you make mistakes? Alright guys, so this is the end of the video. At this point, I'm just rambling off script uh, from here on out. So feel free to skip all this part if you don't want to listen to me word vomit. But I do appreciate you guys watching the video. And like I said earlier, I do want to hear your thoughts on Cadwell. Tell me what you think of him as a character. I think that his involvement in the Elder Scrolls mythos, it presents a very interesting question that I think is especially relevant if you ask that same question about the main characters that we play as, about the hero of Kavach, about the Dovahkiin, about the, I'm just going to call him hero of Morrowind because his, his name's kind of hard to pronounce, but the idea that are you the hero because you saved the day? Does saving the day mean that anything else that you did, becoming the leader of the Dark Brotherhood, uh, 
literally killing the Emperor. Doing all of these other terrible things that you can do in the Elder Scrolls games. Does saving the day in the main quest line mean that you are absolved of any wrongdoings that you did? How do you think the history of the Elder Scrolls mythos will view the hero of Kavach in time? How do you think that it will view the Dovahkiin in Elder Scrolls 6 and moving forward? Because we see with Cadwell that even though he saved elsewhere, and who knows, maybe the majority of Tamriel, he saved them from dragons by helping his friend trap them in the halls of the Colossus. But what does history remember him as? For the large part, for the majority, history does not remember him at all. And the few people that do know the tale of Cadwell, they call him Cadwell the Betrayer. They call him the villain of elsewhere. That seems to override him being the champion of the Third Nedic Massacre, or the hero of Sirach. It's the negative part that comes first. So in Elder Scrolls VI, what do you think the Dovahkiin's going to be called? Will he be the one who stopped the World Eater? Or will he be the one who liberated Skyrim from the Empire, which inevitably just makes Skyrim easier to conquer for the Altmeri Dominion? There's tons of different ways that you can take this conversation, and I'd be really interested to know what you guys have to say in the comment section. So by all means, uh, let me know all your thoughts down below. And this, this whole video theme, like this whole video format is uh, new to me. So I'm still trying to figure out the, you know, best way to do it. I mean, this was the first time that I actually did like a video script. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I've got some ideas to do more video essays in the future. So let me know if you want these to be a little bit longer. Let me know if you want me to go on tangents a little bit more and and really sink on into the rabbit hole that is Elder Scrolls lore because let me tell you guys it goes deep it's crazy and it's it can be really hard to like wrap your head around but that's why I kind of wanted this video to be a little bit shorter just so that it was easier to you know mentally digest so to speak but I've been rambling on for too long. You guys hit me up on Xbox. My gamer tag is Big Boy Nappin. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Head on over to twitch.tv slash Big Boy Nappin and you can hang out with me while I play Elder Scrolls games. If you want to join my guild in Elder Scrolls Online, all you gotta do is message me, guys. We got more content for Skyrim and Oblivion coming out. And as soon as I finish my Morrowind mod build, so to speak, uh, hopefully we'll be getting some Morrowind content going too. So thank you guys for watching again. Uh, I appreciate every like and I appreciate every comment. I will see you guys in the next video.